So what happens when an adrenaline junkie marries a drama queen and they travel around the world on a catamaran? Come see the places, meet the people, and enjoy the experiences that make each destination special. And learn why traveling by boat provides more than just transportation, but a path to real adventure. And adventure builds character. Or was it characters? Either way, what is the worst that can happen? Stay tuned for more at lostatsea.tv. Arr! Hey there, Lost at Sea TV. I'm really excited to announce a new video playlist we're going to put together for you guys here on our Lost at Sea TV YouTube channel. It's going to be called Cruising Stories, and it's going to be all about the different people that we meet and their stories and adventures. And really, that's what I think cruising is all about: is collecting stories, um, both for your entertainment and for your information. So we've got some friends that just pulled into the anchorage over here on Shiloh and Alley Cat. And uh, they're going to be coming over for a barbecue, have some drinks, and once we uh, feed them enough rum, hopefully we'll get some really, really good stories as they just got back from the Bahamas. So stay tuned. More fun coming up. But you know what's changing the, the, the whole Caribbean outlook now, you know, the east side and the west, is that you don't trust a lot of people anymore. You know, when we started eight years ago, we used to go and if a pro came past you, hey, I'm yeah, right. they would come Life and trade something. You do or your U-turn, your 360s, full yeah. engines to make a way to and drown them. And to get away, you're, you're, you're all weary. Ready and to kill them. Wow. Yeah. Eight That's years so ago, we went to Venezuela. Sad. We spent three months in Venezuela. What a fantastic time! We had guys coming right up to us with cigarettes, country. but you don't know. There's about five hundred right. rogue, and then they go. It was no threat or fear. Yeah. Now you now can't go to Venezuela. You can't go there. It's just out of bounds because of pirates and guys, the poor needing right. Yep. So that and doesn't happen anymore. So that's a kibosh there. Yeah. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, the Eastern Caribbean, Grenada, um, um, Trinidad, which is right there, and it's next to Venezuela. Right. It's just, you know, you got to get Coast Guard permission. I'm coming from, from, from um, Grenada to Trinidad. Grenada to Trinidad. Yeah. And you've got a 90 mile passage. And now you got to get the Coast Guard to know and there's helicopters in the air to escort you through. Wow. Because the it was never like that when we were yes. Venezuelans yeah. are heading north. Because yeah. there's nothing left That's to do. They have yeah. toilet paper country. in the, in the supermarket. So I've, got, they, I've got a student from Venezuela mm. who's a, who, who, um, he's a college people, student I mean, here. Yeah. His and, parents are here and, now. And he, tells, yeah, um, and he tells me all kinds of, of stories about, you know, with this revolution that's happening there and everything else. How long ago did he get out of there? He, he's been, um, he's been back and forth. been back and forth over oh. the last year and a half. Yeah. Jeez, because it's really Yeah, when we were there yeah. in 2010, yeah. no, 2009. Two, nine. Nine. Yeah, it was the most yeah. unbelievable part of the world. Yeah. Free and easy, cheap. And we bought about, I think it was about 60 really? bottles of rum. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 60 bottles of rum. It was a good, good quality rum, two, uh, a liter. Everything cost nothing. Um, we had about nothing. 12 dozen beers. We yeah, had a dozen, dozen gin, dozen vodka. Okay. Dozen Here's a question. Dozen of what did you do with 60 bottles of rum? Drink it. What? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it? Do you think that there's Cause, some cause, left? Because if you buy 60 yeah. bottles of rum, yeah. You should be trading them somewhere else for a profit. <laughs> no, that's sixty bottles of rum is yeah, is, a is, lot of rum. is 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 yeah. is not a ship store. It's a no, cargo. The port is a <laughs> and that uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, three guys delivering it from Cape Town to um, the BVI, and the guy was fishing and he got a barracuda. Normal old story. So he brings on the sugar scoop, and he grabs it with the towel, hook out with the pliers, and lets it go. He steps over here, which was older model. Same as this. Steps over this with the rod, walking away, and the barracuda went in the water and obviously spooked, went the wrong way, shot out and got him on the back of his calf and took everything away to the bone. Mm -hmm. Just grabbed him and just shot it like a dog. Wait, wait, it jumped out of the water and, and got grabbed him? him? Grabbed got him. Right where are you sitting? Where are you sitting? Got him. It, it, they, you know, it, it obviously went the wrong way. You know, it just went yeah. back, happened to come back in the boat instead of going that way. And he was in a bad way. So they all they do is bandage you up. He got gangrene and all sorts of things. Oh yeah, they fillet. Yeah. And they were yeah. about they were a thousand they, miles. They're, they're scavengers. They eat incredibly sharp little things. Yes. Yeah. So the choice was go back to Cape Town or Santa Lina. So they stopped at Santa Lina hospital. Where's Santa Lina? Right yeah. in the middle. It's 930 it's miles from Cape it's Town. It's a little island. If you go from the top of Brazil to Cape Town, it's in line. from Cape mm. Town. Yeah, it's 930 miles. And up until last year, the only way you could ever reach St. Helena was, oh, was by boat. Well, it's still, they just still put, No, they put a little airport. Well, yeah, the airport the land. It's too windy and no... Uh, no no planes. They tried no to planes. put an airport. Okay, they tried to put an Okay, so they built an airport. They yeah, so they imagine that. And they built Barracuda a runway, but they didn't it. check the prevailing conditions. <laughs> so guess what? No plane can land there. <laughs>
British. Wow. And okay. you know what they spent? You see, we'll see what they spent? 350, 350 the million pounds to build it. Yes, it was British pay taxpayer money. Yeah, exactly what it was. British, yeah, there's a whole thing on it. But anyway, so they, I mean, Barracuda. Well, but they, they won't attack yeah. you in the water. I mean, we swim with them all the time, big ones. Yes. And they just, they're just with you. They go with you. When I see them, I go back to my boat. Have you yeah. seen yeah. 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 Stingrays? Yeah. 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 Have you been with them? No, we've seen eagles. I've seen we've actually them. saw it in Ponce Inlet. I watched an eagle ray jump out of the water. That's amazing. I just saw one. And you almost never see that here. It's. I saw one on what day was it when I told you that? Two days ago. Oh, it was the day we were arriving in Fort Pierce, and just before we entered. Just on the outside, in the ocean, yeah. just before it, this huge eagle ray came through and then banged up. Yeah. Six yeah. foot out of the water. It was amazing. Oh, I see. You know that. So, Alan, you've got to have a great story with that shark tooth you're carrying oh. that you, you wrestled with it and pulled it out yourself. You see the, you see the hole on my back? <laughs> the they, took years. it out with a leather man. <laughs> I took it out with a leather man That's out of your nothing. back. That's nothing. My surfboard is right in, in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Metal. But this has been extinct for 500 years, so you go figure. Do the math. What is that? Is that a megalodon teeth? Megalodon teeth, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> got it in Hawaii, but she said it was close show if she the shark. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you, can't, you, you can't have it both ways, love. You either wrestle that up or it's, <laughs> or it's ancient. Yeah. Yeah. Please tell me that the, the trick to the whole thing is if you pick a. You're on number six. No, 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 no. If you pick a young blonde and you tell her the story, she will never, yeah, she has she will never pick it up. She goes, I really? really? Oh, oh, did it really happen to you? Yeah, look at my back. Oh, my God. And that's a big lid on. Is it ancient? Yeah, it's about 5,000 years. Oh, and you just got it. <laughs> <laughs> You See? fought a 5,000 year old shark? And yes! Oh my god! I can't wait to tell my friends on, on Facebook or, or Instagram. 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 Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Cool, you're on Instagram. Yep. I met this old man Facebook and he's got a, us old so he's got a 4, yeah. 4,000 year old shark tooth in his back. Ooh! <laughs> Well, you see, you'll see people on Facebook now, boyfriends recording their girlfriends, they ask them questions like, Honey, we're currently driving 80 miles an hour. We have to go 80 miles. How long will it take? And she goes, <laughs> Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> and she starts, trying, I know? She starts yeah. trying to do this math problem in her head. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's just like laughing, holding the camera because she can't figure it out. Shame. Oh, blonde, blonde. No. <laughs> <laughs> when you're insulting here. Some of us are blonde by dye and sun. I, I know. I know one yes. blonde joke. There were two blondes out in the woods. Yep. And they found some tracks, and they got into an argument. The one blonde thought they were bear tracks, and the other blonde thought they were deer tracks. And while they were arguing, the train hit him. <laughs> So what's uh, your best geez. sailing story? It's hard it's hard uh, to have jokes you can tell around children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what was the we what was the so worst Hold on, they're telling you the best sailing oh, story. No, we're not sailing no. story. We're trying to think of one. I think the okay, what's the your worst one? one? Will tell what's the scariest one? Key West. Key West at Anchor heading for this narrow little strip and a tiny little bridge. And high speed going back but you know what you you as the as the observer to that thought and saw and felt it was worse than we did i probably, <laughs> made my, I probably, okay. I probably pooed my pants more than you did okay, <laughs> yeah, because, okay exactly. the, the key west anchorage if you don't go to the, the mooring field at the back which is you know big and well planned out and a right. mile 100 right. miles from town so right. we were like no 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 yeah so we always anchored on the other side of that island in front of the um, um, Coast Guard's office. And it's not a great anchorage. And in fact, some of the charts say it's a no-go zone, but nobody's ever bothered us, and we spent three weeks there, so we figured, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, it was always bad. It was lumpy, bumpy. The year before, we'd been there, and, and going back from town to the... Some, some nights, and we had my mom with us visiting, and she's sitting in the little, little dinghy, and, like, <laughs> waves come right over the boat. Like, <laughs> dumped. Like, stop. She's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, it was like that. But anyways, this one night, it was really bad. It was, you That's know, just picked knots, up. Eh? But it was the middle of the night, of yeah, course. You know, two yeah. in the morning. It's always two in the morning. And um, we woke up hearing, with the wind, you know, we look out, look out. 
So we go, okay, if the wind sounds bad, we better get up. And then we heard the drag alarm. We have a little drag alarm, and it has this noise. And the noise, it permeates scary my people. worst bad dreams. <laughs> it's like, it, it's it's the sound of a of like a foghorn. Like, it's like, <laughs> So we heard it going, and I was like, oh, oh, okay. So, you know, just throw a big t-shirt on and run outside. And, of course, it's bucketing rain, and windy, 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 and pitch dark, and, I, and, and we're trying to get a bearing of where we are, you know, I said, okay, Al's way over there, you see his mass light, and he, and you had a flashlight on and whatever, and I looked back, and it was just like, there, behind us was a bridge, and some land with rocks, not, not a, a jetty. Beach. no, like a, no. like a land, just yeah. a grass with rocks on the beach, behind rocks. us, and then a bridge, rocks and we're looking back, land. and we just, it was moving, like this fast, yeah, Shh. We must have been going, I don't know, seven or eight knots backwards, like that. The anchor had just let go, and now it was bouncing, and it couldn't hold. And we were like, oh. And then Al was calling us, in the we heard him on the radio, like, oh, Shiloh, Alicat, Shiloh, Alicat, Shiloh, Shiloh, do you copy? And none of us could get to it, because we were turning engines on and right. trying to get away, get away. And we just basically had to guns to the yeah. metal to get it out of there because we were on the rocks I don't know minutes minutes it, seconds from the rocks. in the worst yeah. place but you got rocks yeah, yeah and a wall massive hot concrete wall then you got this tiny bridge which is about it was too low for our mass. Five foot high. The mass yeah, would have gone, oh. yeah. so it would have gone pinned in these rocks under yeah. the bridge it would have gone and the current under the bridge at any any angle is about six knots you know the current flows yeah. through there six knots yeah. so if it's going the wrong way you're just gonna get and Oh, and he was watching, and I was like, what Al's trying to get hold of us, we have yeah, to let him know we're awake and alive, but we couldn't, we were just, just too busy. When I saw the lights come on first, the lights, okay, they, they're on, okay, I'm fine now. As long as we know they're on top of it. And then, yeah. then the question is, we have 40 knots on us, so Ellie Cat's anchor, it's holding, but theirs was holding too, when they went to sleep. Yeah, until it wasn't. Yeah, until it wasn't. I'm in the dinghy, and just, I mean, the waves are huge, like here, you know. Do I go in the dinghy and help them and get... On the and, then the and then have yours. And then leave yeah. the yeah. land on the rocks, or do I? And your dinghy would have been bashed <laughs> around. Oh, yeah. now I've got to try and do something with it to get on the boat. It's like you got minutes, yeah. half a minute, yeah. second. And yeah. we second. could have been mixed. Our, dinghy, yes. our, our boat could have done exactly yes. the same, same, thing. Yeah, same thing. So he goes to help them, and there's about 40, right. 45 like, oh, knots, oh. maybe 50 that night. Wow, yeah. we've had yes, yeah. yeah. it's cruel. For but now, for you, that was seemed the worst for us but yeah. for me the worst was months before that when we were in uh, Grand Key in the north of, of the Abacos oh, and we pulled yes. into this anchorage and it's a very small anchorage i.e. you've got a little piece of land like a, an island and then the island where people live and they're not far from each other and in the, in the middle it says poor holding and all the active captain reviews say bad holding poor holding I could barely get the anchor to grab anything but that's where you anchored well we anchored there because <laughs> That's the first time we've come to a town of any description for weeks. Yeah. So we thought, okay, we'll anchor quickly for the night, no big deal. We'll go to town, eat a meal on shore, woohoo, and buy some things <laughs> in the shop. But the shop had, the shop had one <laughs> carrot, one like, onion, yeah, one <laughs> carrot, one onion, a couple cans, <laughs> like oh. nothing. Yeah. So we did. We ate on shore, That's and we came, and then and then the wind was funny. You know, you got that feeling like mm, wind strange. I'm but, sick. Of so we said, okay, we better go back to the boat. We got back to the boat. We sat down to watch TV in the cockpit and, or in the saloon, and all of a sudden, big gusts, you know? Things are blowing from the wind in the hatches and the dust straight. So yeah, it was about 10, 30, 11, and then it just came. Bang! You, you didn't, 50 knots! You didn't just put that in your rum and coke, did you? Us. Hi, it's okay. I just want to make sure I you didn't put the Havana Club in there. No, no, no. Because right, said, good. that's only for sipping. <laughs> If you need no, no. more rum for that, I have that. Okay, no, no, you brought some. Okay, no, he's good. he's got his own rum. Yeah, we brought you rum. <laughs> we, that. we know the difference. Good. Okay, continue. So yeah, all of a sudden it went from sort of 20 knots blowing to 55 knots in a split second. And then we just dragged. And we were dragging Jesus. fast and Al was dragging. And behind us was one trawler and another cat and then boats that live there, you know, on moorings. And you're just sort of going backwards towards the moorings. But then the rocks. boat's swinging this way, there's rocks, there's a jetty with like people, and we're like, oh shit. And John goes up to the front and I, he goes, just go full on against it, otherwise we'll be dragging. So I'm full with the engines going, I've never done that before. I was okay. like, oh, I could smell it, like, yeah. oh, it's burning. Yeah, it'll, it'll it blow bad. a lot of smoke if yeah. you, you go full on, right? Full on, full on, full on. And he goes, I can't find the anchor. And you know, it's wind and he's going, I can't find the anchor. It's blowing. <laughs> 
You know, it's not just like, oh, I can't find it. It's yeah. like, no, it's in mayhem. And I'm like, well, do I go forward, back, sideways? He's like, I don't know. Just so he's away trying to from the it. solid objects. Exactly. So I would be motoring one way, and all of a sudden I would be about to hit that. Okay, motoring this way, about to. And but meanwhile, we've got an anchor dragging, God knows where. But you can't see it. You can't yeah. find you know, it. At can't night, see it. you it can only see that much of your anchor. You can't yeah. see anymore. You have no idea yeah. what direction Whether, it is yeah. or anything. And you know, the horse is if it and goes under your keel, under the back, or if you're tangled the, up in everything in else you were going around in. Yes, the propeller, then you're gone. Yeah. It's so anyways, it was about an hour of motoring full on on the engines, which I've never done, and just dodging things in the it night. And then we had an audience from shore because they were all, remember them? They yeah. were like, oh, they love this. <laughs> How <laughs> managed to get them? I just rammed it onto a jetty. He rammed it onto a jetty. I just rammed it and tied it. And it was a and private then, jetty. Private jetty, so yeah. it was to help. And he was like, sorry. Yeah. Well, then I shot like, back oh. and jumped on Charlie. He came in up. the dinghy yeah. and we were like, oh, come on aboard. And he could barely get up because the waves and da Yeah, and we've ended up on the fuel dock, which we not allowed, but it was like, screw that. We're emergency. doing whatever we can this do. This is emergency yeah. stuff. And but then then the next day they charged us. <laughs> but the oh, adrenaline, so now it was like midnight or 1 a.m. And we got onto the dock and we tied off. And of course, just then the wind goes, oh. 15 minutes. You know, like after that long well, they say, they say when you're when you're anchoring either either you're being entertained or you're the entertainment. Or you're yes, the or you're entertaining. <laughs> you know what they call the anchor dance, right? Where one of you's at the back and one of you's at the front and, this, and there's the screaming yes, match going yes. on and people in the in the anchor just love it. They're like, oh, anchor dance. <laughs> so some people I've noticed they get these little uh, headphones and You've then they talk, yeah. and then they quietly argue. You can't rain forward because it'll just fall in the water. We've got them. Uh, yeah, but now they don't work. Now they work. Take them on with blood <laughs> duct tape. Fetch that out like <laughs> Because otherwise, you bend your head down and the head comes up. So you hold it onto that. You're trying to pull up the anchor. You're trying to do that. You can't use those. They're just impossible. They work in comp. Everything works in comp. Yes. But that's not what you need.